Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to the Frosty Planet. Oxygen is potentially included in the form of Oxalite. Um, in our last episode, we, oh, by the way, I'm Crydax, I don't know if I said that. Um, in our last episode, we finally got uh, food sustained, oxygen sustained, uh, growth halted from atmosphere is a good thing, because that means there's plenty of oxygen, uh, which is a good problem to have. And eventually the CO2 will find its way over and continue feeding them. So those are basically CO2 scrubbers. And all they cost is ice. It's honestly pretty easy. Feels pretty easy to me at least. And we got our liquids going. We've got the lavatory. They can properly use them. And we should see little polluted water blips coming out. Yep, there we go. And then those will go over. I guess they know that they can't go left. Uh, and they'll go over here and get dumped out into our little polluted oxygen chamber. I can't... Yeah, eventually we'll be able to turn this back into water, which will be useful. But for now, it's just in its own little chamber. And... I'm trying to think. So they're going to wash their hands properly. There, this is continually putting water in here. I don't know when it will stop. Maybe once the bottler is flooded. Maybe once it gets up to here, it'll stop emptying. Um, but that's good. We want that water to sit there. The temperature of the water seems to be okay. These have a very slow thermal conductivity. What is that? So 0.5 means that per meter seconds. So it'll move one degree Celsius. Basically half of the temperature difference. I don't actually know exactly how it works, but we'll see if this water ends up freezing or not. I'm sure it will eventually uh, just because the surroundings are cold enough. But we might be okay for a while. I don't know yet. Uh, can I plant two more? Nope, still need two more pike apple bushes. Power regulation is completed. Royal flush! Hooray! Um, looks like I'm out of storage. Which just happens so fast. That's one thing I always forget in this game is how quickly those storage things run out of space. Um, throw another three over here. And now we can make a wood burner. I think I kind of want the animal ranching before we do that though. Because I'm a bit worried. Uh, I'm a bit worried about and we don't have any coal at all, so I won't do a coal burner. But I'm worried about wood. We've, we're already down to about half of our starting supply, and we're probably going to be consuming it faster to make more water. So that's a bit of an issue. Um, what am I looking for? I'm just clicking around randomly. Refinement? No. Research. Is, there, is it stations? Supercomputer. There we go. So we'll build our supercomputer over here. Uh, we'll wire that up. These can handle up to a thousand watts. So that's fine. And we will research. What can I research for just the blue? Most of these require purple. Do all of them require purple on this third uh, tier? It looks like everything at the third tier requires purple. It... As zero exceptions. Okay. That means we should research something that's not at the third tier, such as portable gases. Um, oxygen masks. That's cool. That didn't exist before. I could go with art to try to boost the mood. 
automation overlay. I don't think we need anything in the automation world yet. I can't afford it anyway. Sludge press. Separates mud and other sludges into their base elements. No, I think I'll go with medical equipment. We'll just hold all the standard stuff. What is included in that, by the way? Not clothing, not critter eggs, and not sublimators. Interesting. So that means we're just leaving oxalite where it sits, which I'm okay with. Though it could be good to have the oxalite higher up because then it would push the CO2 down rather than having to swap with it in this messy dance that they're currently doing. So maybe actually, now that I think about it, we would rather have like a storage bin up here that we specifically do oxalite in. And I need another cot. Very excited to get critters going. Do I have any skills? Everybody has a skill point. Nice. Okay, you're the one who's gonna do critter ranching. Critter wrangling. Derpamu. I think you'll just keep grilling and chilling. Uh, yeah, Bulby catches the critters. Derpamu Edison. Should you go for abyssalite mining? Or should I do something else like tinkering? Um, I'm not sure. We'll go with super hard digging. Lodro, you already have mechatronics engineering, which is kind of awesome. Art could be handy. I already gave you researching. I'll need someone with astronomy eventually, but I think I'll have another point by the time I want it. So we'll go with better science, which I think speeds up sciencing. And someone's gotta do medicine. So Lodro, you're the you're the apothecary. Whether you like it or not. I know it's not your your cup of tea. But yeah, we're gonna go with oxalite up here. At a higher priority. I don't know exactly what priority does it might mean they fill this one first or they empty this one first or both not sure all right calories are looking good pike apple skewers yum yum we're ending up with a lot of sure berries too what is up with that like Getting way more than I thought we would. I don't know, it's not telling me what their cycle growth looks like, but we're ending up with it quite a few. Yeah. Yeah, we need to clean up that oxalite. Oh good, we did. Beautiful. And then if it's up here, now we get oxygen sublimating from up here, right? Yeah. Look at that. I think that's what's happening anyway. So that should help a little bit to fill from the top down. This CO2 is just not going down. Um, maybe it'll help a little bit if I add some more airflows here. This really doesn't seem to be doing its thing very quickly.
Well, we got the supercomputer. Supercomputer. Sweet. And it needs water, which is important to note. Building melted. Snow tile. Ah, I see. I see the problem. Um, well. I guess snow tiles warm up enough. Because this water is 14 degrees, and that's warming up the snow more than the, the air, or the ice next to it. Thermal conductivity is only 0.6. Yeah, the ones next to ice should be okay. But the ones next to air, or in this case, the one next to more snow, was really the problem. These ones might end up staying cold enough. But I am a bit concerned. Um. So, uh, yeah. Wow, I literally was worried about that right as it happened. Yay. Okay, uh, we can mop this all up eventually. Oh, no, we're out of minerals. For t oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Priority. Um, high priority on that stuff. I need some more rock. All of our water is disappearing. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, the phrase building melted is never... <laughs> that's never a sentence you want to see. Oh, man. Building melted. Oh, God. Yeah, that's scary. But it ended up just being a snow tile. I've seen worse. Attribute increase. Derpamu Athletics. Go, go, Derpamu. Odro, you got a cold. Interesting. Get that one built, please. That is top priority. There we go. Alright, and now we need to do some moppage. Mop. Oh, too much liquid? That's the worst amount of liquid. Oh, now it all froze into ice. I guess this should freeze. That's negative 11. It's negative 12. That's 7. If you average all that out, we're probably at negative something. Not to mention this ice keeps getting cooled by the ice next to it. So this should turn into ice eventually. Yeah. Just gotta wait for it. Okay. I mean, the colony is sustainable now, except for wood. So once this research is done... In fact, do I care that much about this research right now? I don't think I do. I'm going to go straight for the ranching. And... It's going to be expensive. But we'll get there. We got plenty of calories, we got plenty of oxygen. Stress is still nice and low. I think we're doing just great. And I promise, this episode will be the proper length. Don't you worry, guys. It'll be the proper length. Now, what's our long-term goal? Honestly, I'm not really sure. Our long-term goal is to kind of work through the tech tree, discover more about the Spaced Out plus Frosty Planet DLC, 
Um, cause I don't even know, I didn't do enough reading to even know exactly what I'm getting into. And just continue to kinda enjoy the oxygen not included world. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna go super far in this playthrough, or if we're gonna do multiple playthroughs, or if we're gonna get distracted by another game. So I can't promise anything in particular, but we will have fun and see how far we can get. Um, I know in the, in the older versions, like, taming volcanoes or geysers, I can't remember what they were called exactly, that tended to be a big part of progress. Okay, good. The CO2 is finally, like, layering up down here, and these are all consuming it. One, two... Will this tell me... Nah, it doesn't really count as oxygen generation, does it? But 200 kilograms, if I consider six, no, seven, I can't count. Yeah, seven plants uh, times two grams a second is 14 grams a second times 600. What's 600 times 14? It's actually pretty close to 10,000. What did I say? 14 grams a second. I'm 600. Wait a second. Hold on. I'm doing something wrong. Oh, that's oxygen. I'm thinking CO2. Okay, sorry. Yes, because CO2 is way less. They're breathing more oxygen than they're producing CO2. They only produce 2 grams a second, but they're inhaling 100 grams a second. That's right. But my point at looking at this is they're consuming more CO2 than I'm producing. So eventually we should see less CO2, not more, is kind of what I'm getting at here. But it might take a little bit of time, because I just got these going just now. Um, oh, but this is producing CO2. Shoot. That wood heater by itself is two more. Do these produce CO2 at all? That produces heat. I didn't really consider that. 1.13 kDTU. This makes 20 times as much, okay. Um, does this make anything? That makes heat. This makes some heat. Not a ton, but a medium amount of heat from both of those. So the, these snow tiles could be issues, potentially. Um, but yeah, I wasn't really considering properly the effect of the heater. Because four dupes are basically matching with four alveoveras, and then the heater is matching with two more. So I'm barely uh, eating up any of the CO2. So I think I want to settle a few more alveoveras here. I have plenty of ice. I have 78 tons of ice, and guess what? There's plenty more ice where that came from. Look at all this. This is just all ice. And there's plenty of oxalite too, so I'll be fine. In fact, I might open up this oxalite pocket, just make things even easier on myself. Okay, and the research is not happening? No, it is happening, good. In fact, Edison's doing the research. Shouldn't uh, Sweet Corn Whiskey be doing research? Oh no, I have your your priorities all wrong. Researching is one of the things you're allowed to do too. Same priority as the other thing. No, tidying, supplying, and storing can be normal priority. Lodro is truly the I'll do anything. The jack of all trades, master of none right now. Yay! Alright, finally I got all the pike apples we need. One, two, three, four. Did I find out again how many calories a day? Actually, entirely unclear. Um, didn't this say a thousand calories a day in here somewhere? 
Yeah. So, and these produce 1,200 because the calories increase by 50% when we process it. Um, and they make people slightly happier. Where can I see people's happiness, by the way? There's the morale. Okay. I may need... Oh, there's rooms in this game, too, isn't there? How do I designate a room? Hmm. Wasn't there a room thing? Am I making that up? Is that a different game? No, there's a room overlay. Yeah. Okay, so I did designate this a barracks on accident. Go team. So now what we want is a washroom. Flush toilet, plumbed wash station. And so we just need to enclose this area. Um, perfect. Okay, okay, okay. So I will deconstruct the ladder here and here. I will move the ladder to there. I'll put a roof on this this here thing. Airflow tiles are fine, I think. And then if we put a door on it. I think that'll work. I do that, oh, they're not gonna be able to. I think they can fit through that actually. We've already discovered that. So I think that will make it work. What other rooms can I make? Uh, nothing that would make people happy except a recreation room. I don't think I have recreational buildings yet, do I? I haven't made a crafting station. I should plop one of those down somewhere. I don't even know what it can make. Furniture. A water cooler is a recreational building. So if I put a water cooler in a room, that will add extra morale. As far as I'm understanding this. But the room size needs to be 12 tiles. So if I do this, that, I'll just put a tile there, do that. I think that will get me what we want. Uh-oh. Pressure. Oh, the gas pressure. Is it too low? What's going on here? Oh, uh, it's just because there's kind of low density CO2. I guess. All right, we need to really get rid of some of this CO2. We're going up on this priority here. Get these alveos planted. New printables are available. What do we got? Sandstone. Sure, why not? Definitely don't want more dupes right now. Five is more than I can handle. Okay. I guess I can't prioritize everything, but I also want this to be high priority because... What, what broke? What happened here? Broken? Pipe content's becoming too cold. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't even think about water and pipes freezing. Oh, no. Because the water's just sitting in the pipe. Oh, jeez. Oh, 
man. Well, that's bothersome. Hmm. So, I probably need... somewhere insulated pipes. Which are... here? Radiant. No, we want the opposite of that. Carries liquid with minimal change in temperature. Wow, yeah, that is an interesting challenge. So we kind of need a heater. That is an interesting problemo. We did get a washroom bonus here, but they can't access it. Oh God. All right, hold on. This is, these are red alerts, guys. You need to get that done. ASAP, get that done. You're not gonna be able to take a poop. So that's done. And then you also need a fix. How do I order a fix? Okay, it's set to repair automatically. Empty pipe, mop, disinfect, attack regular. That's an emergency. Do I need a red alert, you guys? Like, you gotta finish that. Oh well, it's okay for a minute, I guess. <laughs> this poor little flux. Mood miserable. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I, I do understand that. kilograms per cycle of wood. I'm actually curious, how much wood is that? 60 kilograms a cycle? How much does this thing use? Um, does it tell me? Wood consumption varies depending on the initial temperature. Oh. That's unhelpful. I wish it would give me a range. Yeah, yep, I was worried about this. Oh, goodness. All right, uh, you guys did the thing that you do. Because the bathroom's still not fixed. The freezing water keeps messing up my pipes. Okay. Let's... I don't even know what to do. I feel like I'm spiraling. Um... Yeah, see, the problem is the water in the pipes just gets colder and colder and colder. Also, whoever made a mess ended up making a mess right here of all places, so now we've got the wrong stuff in the pipes. Wonderful. You guys are the worst. Oh, man. Okay, um... Yes, yeah, so you can see the temperature's going down. Once it gets to negative whatever, we got problems. Shoot. And I don't have an insulated base that I can like start warming up the whole base yet or anything. Really don't know what to do here. Also, what is going on with CO2? This is super weird. I have 
Like it should be decreasing, not increasing. So something feels off with that. Um, let's get some oxalite going here. I don't fully understand what's happening with that. Just open up some more oxalite. <sighs> hmm. Okay, now the liquid, I want to say we can, we can mop the pipe, right? Uh, what's the empty pipe? Oh, now it's going to empty the wrong pipe, isn't it? We also need to mop this. Oh, I need a plumbing skill for that. Shoot. No power to the liquid pump. Oh gosh. Is this the death spiral? Has it begun? <laughs> No, I think we're okay. We still have food. We still have plenty of oxalite that I can make available if we start running out of oxygen or whatever. So I think we're gonna be okay. Just a little, little iffy. Little iffy. I actually would like to collect the oxalite and get it up here. The CO2 can fall down. I don't want to have to use a gas pump, but I might need to. Just to pump the oxygen from here up to here so it'll push everything down. Might need to be what happens. Okay, so those really should be munching on a lot of CO2 now. Okay, things are back to semi-stable. Is the polluted water out of here? It looks like it is. Yeah. Uh, it's not out of the pipes, though. I assume something's just gonna break when that happens. Can I just deconstruct that? And then reconstruct? There we go. No! Okay, that's fine. I should have thought more carefully about that. So, man, polluted water. That was only one kilogram of polluted water, but it still covers all of this space. Oh, man. Plumbing, liquid. That's going to be annoying. Oh my gosh. Germs everywhere. Okay, it's actually not that bad. Alright. You guys don't need to be yellow alert. Just high priority. How's that? I've seen worse colonies, I think. <laughs> Not that this is great, but I've seen worse. I 
also am realizing that I've trapped you in a room with no airflow other than to the sides, so I should probably make those airflow tiles. Open up some more airflow here. Research complete! Filtration! Woohoo! Gas filter liquid wave. Is that what? Is that what I wanted to research? Oh, I need that for the insulated pipe. Okay. That is what I wanted to research. so much work to do. What is going on? Empty pipe. What? Okay. Where's the button? There it is. Oh, these aren't built yet. Oh, and then that makes more mopping jobs, and then it just creates this cycle. You guys gotta get this fixed. Finally freed the flocks. Freed the flocks. Hmm, fun job you got there, sweet corn whiskey. Why are you eating right there? I mean, to be fair, I didn't give you a mess hall, but still. Okay, this didn't count as a room. Missing decor item. Oh. Uh, decor. Is this a decor item? It might not count as a decor item. Um, I might need an actual item for that, but insulated pipes first. I think I unselected it, so I have to find it again. There we go. Insulated pipes first. <laughs> Yeah, these pipes are just going to keep breaking, and it's going to keep becoming a problem. CO2 is having a hard time getting down there, but is that worth is that worth making a thing? A gas pump? They, they take 240 watts. That's so much power. It feels like a lot. These only make 400. And it just running constantly? That seems bad. Mm. 
These only take half as much. How do those take less? Those seem more powerful. Um... Oh, I am dumb. This does not... That's good. It says sieves gas from the air. But I think it sieves gas from its input. Am I, am I wrong about that? The way that's worded makes it sound like it could pump just from the air itself. But given the hookups it has, I'm thinking that's not what it does. And it actually just filters gas that you send into it. So that's a little bit misleading, actually. So, I mean, I could make a gas pump. Gas pipe down. <laughs> it just feels so pointless. Given I'm pumping something that's heavier than than oxygen down. This feels useless. Instead, let's just keep widening the air channel here. Chili over there, fair enough. Our wood supply, surprisingly, is still at 11,600. Feels weird. Um, I don't think I've gotten more wood from somewhere. Oh, that flux is still stuck. When did this happen? Did I just miss that? Maybe. Okay, crafting station can currently make nothing. Oh, no discovered recipes. Okay. Well, I guess that makes some amount of sense. Oxalite! Okay, I think the four tile wide is finally wide enough that, like, CO2 is finding its way down. We'll see. We'll see if it is. It's currently stuck at the level of the farm. Let's see if that gets any better or not. Research is almost done, which will give us our insulated pipes. And then hopefully we can not have this cold damage issue that keeps happening. I'm 
I'm also curious, does this stop working once it's reached the level that it's at? I don't know. don't know how that works. Uh, okay, what do you got for me? Ice, four tons of it. Fertilizer, three tons of it. I'll take fertilizer. I don't need it yet. Uh, it's a little more useful than four tons of ice when I already have 78 tons and thousands more tons are available. I feel like I need another project for my dupes. I guess I could mine this out. Make it a five tile wide area. Or air exchange. Oh, you know, but then we'll have an issue here. If I'm not careful. Yeah, it's interesting. If we had more bathrooms and they were using water frequently enough, we'd be okay. But it's hard without the water circulating. We can't regulate its temperature very easily. So the only thing I could do is heat up the air around the pipes. I'm hoping insulated pipes will fix the issue. We'll see. comes. Mmm, polluted oxygen. Yum. I forget, is there a pressure overlay? Temperature power, oxygen. Ventilation. Doesn't really seem like it. Yay! Improved plumbing. Okay, pipe insulation prevents liquid contents from significantly changing. Wow, it's expensive, 400 a piece. So I'm gonna need more igneous rock. Um, okay, so where's the igneous rock? This is mostly igneous rock. I'm gonna up that priority there. I don't want more granite. I want more igneous. Six on all that. Let's get this digging done. I'm curious what the difference is in like in the formulas. Cause we know about conductivity and heat capacity and stuff. So is is this pipe transferring its temperature to the water? Is the water basically sitting exposed to the air as far as temperature is concerned? Like, is that just the same as if there was 10 kilograms of water in that square? Like, is it being affected by the tiles around it or just the air tile and it's exchanging temperature with the air as if the pipe wasn't there? And maybe the insulated pipe prevents that. I just, I don't know how any of that will work. I'm also curious if this bottle emptier will ever stop. Only time will tell. The CO2 problem seems to be getting worse, not better. Still confused by that. Um, 200 milligrams a second. 
Huh. Or 2,000. Those should be consuming all of the CO2. But somehow the problems seem to be getting worse, not better. Interesting. I think over time it'll balance out. But maybe I'm wrong, maybe it won't. Maybe I'm missing something. Yeah, people are getting out of breath everywhere now. I wonder if it's just the overall air pressure is going down, and so it looks like there's more CO2, but it's really just the amount of CO2 there is has expanded. That could be what's happening. Um, it could be a good idea for me to open up some oxalite to kind of increase the pressure again. Like if we open up this oxalite patch and that one, then that could help with things because that's another few, maybe a thousand kilograms of oxygen altogether. will actually be worth a lot. Oh, but I guess it's only half that much that we get in oxygen. Because, yeah, the pressure seems to be about 400 grams per tile. Roughly speaking. You can see, I guess this is kind of a density of oxygen readout. That's so not very high. Yeah, that might be what's going on. Okay, well, I think that's a good spot to end the episode. We've got our insulated tiles uh, researched here, and we can get our igneous rock insulated tiles built up. And that should hopefully keep water from freezing. Woohoo! Yeah, with that, we'll call that the end of the episode. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, uh, you can get your name in the game and your name in the credits. So please consider heading over to patreon.com slash if you enjoy these videos. As always, you know what to do best with your money, so uh, be wise with that. But if you feel like it's worth your value, then I appreciate you uh, supporting me and supporting these wonderful videos, or at least I think they're wonderful. <laughs> I hope you do too. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment here on YouTube. Let me know what you guys think about Oxygen Not Included. I'm having a lot of fun playing this game again. I forgot how good it was, to be honest, so I'm really jazzed to keep going, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>